This episode brought to you by healthwithdronetech.com. Collagen product sales are spiking, and for a good reason. Collagen is revered for giving skin its strength and elasticity, along with its power to reduce wrinkles. This isn't just hearsay. There's thousands of studies to back up these claims. If you want a more youthful appearance, you should regularly take collagen supplements. But there's a problem. Typical collagen supplements you'll find on store shelves usually don't work because they're filled with cheap or low-quality collagen collagen, and sometimes harmful ingredients, which leaves users unsatisfied when they do not see the results they were expecting. This is why I love collagen. Not just regular collagen though, multi-collagen. What is multi-collagen? It's a solution for aging that America is going crazy for. Multi-collagen is the best anti-aging solution on the market with the highest quality collagen blends our bodies need to look and feel younger. Within days of trying multi-collagen, users report noticing a more youthful appearance, decreased wrinkles, thicker hair, healthier nails, and pain-free joints. I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. Try it out now for 51% off by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by visiting the links in the description or pinned comment. You know how I always say the only legitimate election is one that Democrats win? Well, that's because in my adult life, anytime Democrats lose an election, they claim it was stolen and is illegitimate. Anytime they win, the all clear is given. That's why I was so easily able to predict that if Democrats won in 2020, then they would declare it interference free and perfect. Unsurprisingly, that's exactly what happened. Now, I cannot express enough how much I loathe this creature, Joy Reid. She's one of the most hate-filled people in the fake news business, and her job seems to be spreading lies and division based on race, religion, and political affiliation. She knows her audience, I guess, which is why she has no problems rewriting a false history where Democrats accept election losses. Check this out. What happened on January 6th was an attempt to undermine our democracy, to rip away our election, to undo our republic. That is not similar to the other protests that we have seen, to the other violence we have seen. That is not similar, as Kevin McCarthy suggested, to the violence on the baseball field uh, where the shooting occurred of Republican members of Congress. Wait, is that, is that a Palestinian flag shirt? The country whose government stated goal is the eradication of Israel and Jews worldwide? We shouldn't be surprised since she's made her feelings on Jewish people quite clear. I guess anti-Semitism is different when they do it. First, I've stated many times that I do not support what happened at the Capitol. But the fact is, Democrat state media has completely manufactured an alternate reality version of what transpired there. At no time was our democracy or republic in any danger whatsoever. Any suggestion otherwise is pure partisan fuckery. Second, in my opinion, what happened at that GOP baseball game was way closer to an insurrection of our republic. While only Republican Steve Scalise was hit and almost died, half the GOP Senate could have easily have been wiped out. Unlike the Capitol, where there was exactly zero chance of that happening. Not to mention, look how quiet our government and media were in regards to that shooting. The FBI even called it suicide by cop, despite the clear political nature of the attack. Which, by the way, they've quietly walked back very recently. And that's why we call them the drive-by media. The guy was looking for Republicans, seeking Republicans out, and shouting, this is for health care, while he shot at them. The media and Democrats at the time had been calling Republicans murderers, or saying that they want you to die, for opposing Democrat policies. So you could easily argue they incited it based on their own stance. Standards, which is exactly why they're quiet about it. Are you worried yeah. that this then becomes the standard way that your party behaves when they lose elections? Yes, absolutely. I, I, well, you know, it opens the door to both parties. I, I don't think this is now specific to just one party. Well, but, Democrats don't um, believe in this, though. Democrats, I've, do, you, do you ever have any record of Democrats ever doing this? The pain in the loss of the 2000 election was real. Hillary Clinton losing to that reality show guy who everyone knew was unqualified to be president. Everyone knew that. You cannot name...
Democrats actually believe in democracy when they lose. Wrong, wrong, wrong. As I stated at the top of this video, as long as I've been an adult, starting with the 2000 election, Democrats have claimed every election that they lost was stolen. In 2000, Bush wins. The media and Democrats lose their minds and claim Bush is an illegitimate president. No question or very little question that Al Gore won the votes cast in the state of Florida. The question is, will he win the votes counted? And there's some stories in Florida still developing. We don't know all the facts, but it really really looks odd. Some say, listen, and is the quote, is the fix in in Florida? Voting irregularities are alleged in some counties. Some irregularities in the vote count. Voting irregularities. Voting improprieties. Do you think in, in Florida that voter fraud has been perpetrated? Problems with voter fraud. Democrats say two Republican workers committed a felony. Voting offices resembling crime scenes. Yesterday, early editions of the New York Post got it wrong, printed out Bush wins. The Gore campaign today boldly predicted that when the final vote is in, they will prevail. His inauguration was protested by 10,000 plus Democrats, and at one point, a mob attacked Bush's motorcade, leading to a cancel of the inaugural parade. A poll from December of 2000 shows that only 18% of Democrats believed Bush was legitimately elected. In 2004, Bush wins again. And again, Democrats couldn't accept it. Would you believe they claimed it was stolen because voter machines were rigged? Democrats such as John Conyers, Jared Nadler, and Robert Wexler called for an investigation into the voting machines. In fact, many Democrats never stopped believing the election was stolen in 2004. Then we get to 2016, and I think we we all know well by now that an insane conspiracy theory was used to torpedo and undo a democratic election from day one. They even started talking about impeaching him before he took office. The whole thing kicked off with a document called the Steele dossier that actually turned out to be Russian disinformation spread by Democrats and their media who could not accept the election results. All right, folks, that's about everything I wanted to cover on this one. We all know that these media propagandists lie with ease and without fear of repercussions, and that's exactly why I do this. To expose them and hopefully damage their credibility with the few still watching. If you support my work, please consider supporting this channel using one of the links in the description or pinned comment. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.